All right, so uh, moving on to Stephanie, we're going to talk about some uh, third variations? Yes. Things like that? Any, uh, anything we want to talk about before then about characters? You want to just get right into this? I think we should just get right into it. Okay, cool. So who? We, we're, we're not going to go through all of them, because um, there's a lot of characters. Yes. But you've picked out some that you about like to show. About ten or so that I think are very exciting. And, I mean, well, all are exciting, but sure. these are my highlights. And we're also going to talk about some things like some character changes, too. That, yes, the a, a few I selected because they have general gameplay changes that I wanted to talk about. For instance, Jack's Fatal Blow is now a high. Yes. So. Well, you spoiled it. Did I? Yeah, I spoiled it yesterday. Yeah, you did. You My favorite thing ever is people who are just like dropping jacks. Like, Tom. you have to be below 30% to even use that. So, you're obviously, you're using it a lot. So, maybe you're getting beat with jacks. Maybe it's time to drop them anyway. Wow. wow. Is that a hot wow. take? Wait till we get to Liu Kang. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Here we uh, go. So, we're going to start with? Um, well, uh, one interesting thing is... We didn't just take a lot of moves and make a new preset. So some are, some are pretty much the moves were already there, but some moves we actually kind of redesigned and rebalanced because they were never really meant to be in a tournament loadout and they were either not strong enough or too strong and we kind of reevaluated a lot of them and our, our design right. team did some really interesting things. There are some really drastic changes here and maybe some pretty big surprises. Like, yeah. we're going to start off with a bang. So let's start with Shang Tsung. Ooh, with a bang. All right. Shang Tsung's third loadout is actually a three-slot move that is a brand new ability. And I, I'm guessing people are probably kind of guessing what it might be. I bet people are like, yes! From the heavens. So, Shang Tsung loses all of his Shang Tsung moves except the straight skull, and in return he gets... All the ninja moves. All the ninjas. And shake. So he gets Ermax lift, smokes shake, rains roundhouse kick, reptile slide. And crushing blows that come with those He things. gets the crushing blows. He gets big combo starters. He gets the space control at Ermax lift. The enhanced slide, it's a lot better than his other slide. He gets a projectile reflect. I think this is an awesome, awesome third variation. So you are let's losing. Say it's what the people want. Oh yeah. I, mean, I think that's something important to talk about as well. Is like you know we've having a third variation has been on the on the <coughs> on the cork board for a while. Yes. But the thing is like you know when we first when the game was first built we had two and those right. were planned out, QA'd, mm -hmm. made sure everything was balanced and whatnot. So we did the same thing with the third one. We went back in. Figured out how to change things, made sure it was balanced as well. It's not just like throwing new moves on people. Right, that, right. that not, should work. That yeah. should be fine. Sometimes, in, in some cases, it does. Yeah. There's, there's also, I want to give a shout out to our UI team, mm -hmm. who every little, you don't, no one thinks about the UI person who set up the little icon or all the text or mm -hmm. even made the space for text to go in. There's so many little UI things that. Add, I mean, you work with them all the time. Yeah, when you absolutely. Add new, there is a, and they have a lot on their plate. Oh, yes. So shout out UI to generally drives a game, right? Right. right. So. UI producer Jonathan Anderson here. Just a quick <laughs> shout out. Uh, Thomas Amber, Danish Syed, Terrence Silverstein, the whole team. Yes, they are awesome, and they often get 10 new things to work on that you just never think of. Yeah. Absolutely. So shout outs to them. Big shout outs to them for the team, team raid stuff, right? Like, there was right. a lot of back and forth and iteration because we're doing a mode that's unlike anything we've ever done before, mm -hmm. right? And for them to translate all the information that's going on in this mode is, it's been great. We, uh, let's take a look at Shang a little more here. Do we have, do you have any, do you have any sweet, sweet combos? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, Ducky's the one that plays Shang. Understood, um, understood. Uh, so let's go to Frost, which is, this might be the one I'm most excited you, you've, about. Uh, yeah, you've actually mentioned the Frost thing many times, and I actually don't know a lot about it. So. And I see a lot of fr Frost players rising up, I have to say. Yes. I think Tweety kind of started mm -hmm. it a little bit, and then from there, people have been like, you know, yeah, let's, let's do some Frost. I've always thought she's this really rad character. She I, is. I love her hair. Arctic Anarchy. Okay, so the first thing she gets is this dive bomb. And this is an example of a move that we've looked at for balance reasons. Uh, there's a lot of minutia with the frames, the recovery on block, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be something that happens throughout a lot of these three right. variations. The other thing is that she has these augers, and they no longer track the opponent. Uh, in the earlier version, they would kind of, if the opponent was ducking, they would go down. They're now just straight projectiles. Both of them are like that. Sure. And the first one is a high. And then the last move we gave her, which is really neat, is 
this overdrive. And this, this is my favorite thing that you've told me about. Yeah, this buffs all of her uh, beam attacks. But the interesting thing is if you amplify it, a timer starts. And when the timer goes off, it takes a while, and it starts beeping. The opponent's actually frozen, and that's new. Previously, you kind of blew them away, and she would get like a forward two, mm -hmm. like a, a, a harder conversion. Now she just gets a full-on freeze. Right. Now, it will go away if you hit her. So the idea would be she's going to activate it. You have a pretty long timer, and she's going to go in, try to get you to block, get you to calm down, because you don't want to be caught in the freeze and she can throw you or whatever. Or the other way around. Right, exactly. Like you can go back and start throwing some augers, maybe do a dive bomb when they're not looking for it, keep them so on the ground. So can you poke them out of it or anything like that? Or once that bomb's set, that bomb is set. No. If you hit her, it is disabled. Got it. So that's a super cool, like just neat, neat, neat yeah, part of the gameplay. Yeah, I think it's a very play. neat mechanic. And just like, I know there's a lot of players, and especially Frost players, uh, who like setups. Yep. Mm -hmm. That seems like a perfect like setup type thing to do. Exactly. I think it will really enhance her kind of weird, creative play style. Awesome. Uh, what other characters do we want to talk about today? Now I definitely want to show Johnny Cage and Jax. Mm -hmm. So with Johnny Cage, we went with a classic MK2 loadout. He has the high fireball, the low fireball, and the uppercut. But the fireballs have been drastically changed. This is another one of those things where like, the moves actually work differently. Now. Yes. Uh, the fireballs before had a huge arc. They didn't hit anybody. Right. <laughs> but now, you can see the mid one is significantly lower, and the high one is still high, but it's not quite as high. He was right. like throwing them at airplanes. Right. <laughs> and his uppercut, it has had a bunch of little minutia frame data changes, and this, if people never really looked at this, this uppercut is actually super fast. Yeah, it looks like this. I think it has like a nine frame startup. So it's a super fast mid. And if you amplify it, it's safe on block. So I think he can use his fireballs and pressure now, his anti-air better to kind of zone people out. I think they're really, they have pretty fast recovery. They're, they're pretty good. Okay. And so those are just more of changes to Johnny Cage's normal moves, the existing moves then, right? These fireballs, right, they existed before as an ability, but they had a significantly different arc. Right. His one and his other, his main variation, is aren't these. these right, are different right. straight yeah. fireball and the other variations. So now let's check, take a look at Jax. And this one's very exciting to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first thing he gets is his amplified ground pound, where it actually pops the person up. The second thing he gets is this right to bear arm string. Now this has a new ender. He can now do one at the end, and he does this Roman Reigns Superman punch, mm -hmm. and that is a high. So the interesting thing here is that's actually plus on block. If you block it, he gets to move first. But it's a high. So you can duck it and then punish it if you think he's going to do it. But then at the Well, then you never up, do it, right? Then you never do it, and you complain on Twitter that Jack sucks. So what do we, how do we fix that? Or you do <laughs> the original ender, which ends in an overhead. The overhead is actually punishable now, though. So this introduces the new meta of if you want the pressure, you go for the high. If the opponent tries to punish that, you go for the overhead. And that's going to keep them guessing. And if you notice, it's about 900 punches. Which means... More, 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 more lit up arms. Lit <laughs> up arms. So the last movie game in this one is... Well, there's more. No, it's, it's, there's two. Is there? Right. No, no, I already said the ground pound. Oh, I didn't hear you say it. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So his clap, and this move now has... So before it had heated arms and non-heated arms. There's now a third level of maximum heated arms, maximum heat. And he actually gets a pop-up, which he did not before. Right. And there are some pretty cool like corner combos you can do. And because he has that really long string... You can get heated up again really quickly. From yes. The, yep. And the crushing blow for his double rocket is to have to do a six hit combo into it. Which I was practicing earlier today when we were talking about yeah, this. Yeah, you it, had already got it when I told you what uh, Hero right. was doing. So he can get really cool like corner stuff where he ends in the crushing blow and stuff because that string is right. a bajillion hits. To say I already got it, uh, I, took, <laughs> I got it like one time out of ten, but yes, I already yes, got it. Yes, you said take a look at this. That's an improvement though. Lift a down one in the corner. It That's was really true. embarrassing. It's, you know when people do combos and you're like, watch this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did that a lot. I don't have that problem. I do. <laughs> um, so that is Jax. Can you... Can, wait, wait. Whoa, oh. whoa, whoa, it's, all, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Moving forward. Were you going to try to do it? No. No, 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 no. no. Okay. I just wanted to show the, the Fatal Blow. 
Oh, well, oh, we, yes. we told him about, already about it. I mean, really? Yes, Jax's Fatal Blow. Yeah. It is still super fast. It's still going to have a 10 out of 10 success rate. Especially for me. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah, you can never <laughs> miss it. But it is now a high. And, that's, and, and here's the thing that actually, because you know, people on Twitter were like, oh, is that, oh, no, no Jax. I'm like, I hit people out of the air a ton with it. Oh, yeah. I hit people if they're using projectiles. <laughs> I hit them if they move. The other thing that it brings up that I really like, because I play Hunker Down, is that now that it's an overhead, I mean, a, a, a high, it's, pardon. Yeah, it's definitely not an no, overhead. No, no, not that overhead. Would be awesome. If you push down, just kidding. Uh, it's now that it's a high, people will be trying to duck it. Well, right. my main offense is an overhead. Right. So I can. So there's that kind of thing where if I try to get in, I, and you're ducking right now, I'm still going to overhead you. So I feel Bob. like for me, there's a for, for the level that I play at, that's a really good meta for me. So now we have Sub Zero, and he actually gains his Ice Orb move, which I think is super exciting because Sub Zero is like a pretty good offensive character in this game, and Sub Zero in the last few NRS games have been very defensive with the Ice Clone, and this mm -hmm. is kind of like. The new version of the clone. So right. I think this will be a pretty drastic play style for him. Like, I, I could even see, I mean, Tom. Like, oh, I would love to see Tom do some, some ice clone, except he, he'll, he'll yell about the trap. He, he did get top eight at a recent tournament. Mm -hmm. He may never not get top eight again now. I don't know. I think, I think Tom's ready. I think he's ready for this. And then we also gave him... This, I think it's called chill out or something, whatever. And this ice ground. <laughs> that pound. sounds like that sounds right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is actually faster. Like you can see, this is a combo, and that's another example of like kind of the gameplay minutia changes we've made to these moves. Can you show sure. the Can you show the uh, the the ground effect again, please? Thanks. And this is the fun stuff you can do with this too, like slide into it and stuff, right? Can you? Yes. That works here. Yeah. So I'm really excited. I've been using the Sub-Zero one. Sub-Zero is one of my favorite characters, yep. and I've been using it and because I'm a very slow-paced defensive player, <laughs> um, and I, I'm a huge fan, and I've always liked this move, so, and I'm very excited at combos. Yeah. All right, so Liu Kang. Liu Kang has the Shaolin Vanish Teleport. Oh, boy. He gets this command grab with his nunchuck. The Kusunari, is that what it's called? It's something like Alicia. that. I like that move a lot. And he gets nunchuck stance. And one of the really cool things is now you can actually do the command grab from the stance if you have both equipped. Oh, that's awesome. You can also do his projectile parry if you have it equipped, which is not in this loadout, but if you're making a custom loadout. Sure. So he can do like block strings into it, go into the stance, and actually go into it. And you just input down, back, forward, too, and it will mm -hmm. come out. He also has a general gameplay change. His forward four is now two frames slower. For those who don't know what forward four is, just show them real quick. It's this string. This is like a really good advancing string. Poke out of it, you know. Yes. Um, we wanted to keep it being kind of one of his go-to strings. That's really what he's like built on. That's what he right. does. But it's now, he already has a fast move with his forward three. He has and a couple other so ones. many tools to get you open. <laughs> like, it's right. awesome. So the idea here is the forward four is just a little bit worse, mm. a little bit less. It's all you do. Mm -hmm. It'd be like 80% of what you do. Right. You'll need like three more brain cells. So it'll be <laughs> fine. And I've been playing him and that's totally what it feels like. Like, cause that's what I want in the character. And I like Luke Hang. So yep. Yep. it's, it's not like you now just literally can't do it. Throw down the controller, but it'll make, Poking out scenario is a little bit easier to deal with if you make that read, and he'll have to commit to doing other stuff. Sure. I'm, I'm actually very interested in this variation of Lou because of the command grab and the nunchuck stats. It's super stats. fun. I've been wanting to have that stance in there for a while, and I, you know, command grabs I really enjoy doing, and the fact that those are married together now is really fun for me. Yeah, I, it's, I've been playing it a lot, and I really like it. It's a lot of fun to use. Well, train me. That sounds fun. Cool. We can also talk about a few that we don't need to show. Sure. Um, Scorpion actually very highly requested. Yes. He gets the MK9 neutral jump punch and Misery Blade. Nice, nice. All those. All, if you played the beta and you love Misery Blade, <laughs> it's back. It's back. Get ready. Sonia is going to be Dronia, and she gets her her cat turn moves. Yep, got it. Um, Nightwolf gets his Spirit Tracks roll, mm -hmm. and then the one that pops you up, and Lightning Arrow. Cool. Which I'm a pretty big fan of. It's great effects. Shoutouts to our effects. Yeah. What about what about uh, our girl Jade? Jade, I've been using it 
that's why I tweeted about her today. Mm -hmm. She gets her new combos, like her enhanced back two, the three, two, two, down one. Mm -hmm. She gets the projectile uh, reflect. Yep. And then she gets the teleport move. Right. And the teleport move actually does uh, better damage than it used to, and there's uh, other little changes like that. Yeah. So she's got like an anti-zoning, but then with the rush down of the, the new back two, the new sweep, and that stuff. Sure. Cool. So let's show Katana and Kung Lao. And Katana's very, very exciting. Yeah, I've Katana is actually probably the most changed character in this patch. I got okay. a lot of Katana tweets over the last couple of days. Yeah, I get uh, those too. I, 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 have a, I have a birthday shout out for one. I hope, I hope <laughs> this makes those tweets slow down. No. They are a passionate community. They are, yeah. They are yeah. very passionate. I agree. Agreed. <laughs> Anyone who was worried that when I retired, the Katana downplay would end, didn't need to be worried about that. No, no. No, they really took they up the They picked it mantle. up. They picked it up. Okay. <laughs> um, so the first thing is, this is across the board. This is not variation three. She actually has a new amplified air fan. Mm -hmm. And this allows her to do combos. So... One Ooh. of the big things Katana players have gone crazy about is combos. We want more combos. She's supposed to be the combo queen. That's mm -hmm. something that we made up and declared. And it right, 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 right. So she now does. She does have to use a bar meter, but she can get the old school, like, MK9 fun combos. Oh, that's awesome. If Heck she's yeah. willing to use a bar. Sure. The second thing is she actually has a new crushing blow. Ooh. Into a pop-up? Into a pop-up, and it begins with an overhead. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into why that's really cool in her variation three. Okay. So the first thing she gets is fan name. Real quick, I'm sorry. Uh, what, what, how does that uh, uh, crushing blow happen? What is the requirement? Oh, gotcha, okay. Okay, so the first thing she gets is fan NATO, and that sends it across the screen. Yep. That's really good for, like, trading stuff. Like, if he does his hat, she gets the trade, she's going to get more damage. Sure. The second thing she gets is low fan, and that's where we get into the overhead. So right. the requirement for the crushing blow is the opponent must be crouch blocking mm -hmm. when they get hit. Sure. So that sets up a 50-50, because now she can special cancel this string. So the idea would be, sometimes you special cancel it into the low, and then when they start ducking it because they're afraid of the low, you go into the overhead. Right. And once per game, you cash out that crushing blow, you get a pop-up money into Big Dammy. Big Dammy. And the last thing she gets in this variation is the corkscrew. That's that's a really cool move. It's a super cool move. It's just elegant. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, the princess needs some some elegance. That's right. nice. Even as a revenant, she re maintains her class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited. I have personally wanted the low fan in a variation since like way before the game came out. Sure. So I'm very excited. I've been using this one a lot, too. It's very exciting. Now, you know, Katana got some, some stuff this time around. Uh, other characters have small things like that, too. We yes. aren't going to get to. You'll get to in the in the patch. Uh, I know Mr. Aquaman's asking for, for Kotal talk. Kotals <laughs> we're not going to show, but it is the other two totems, and it is the Enhanced Sun Disk. Ooh, what about, uh, what about Jackie? Because there's a big Jackie community. If we're not, are we showing Jackie, or are we just going to... We are not because I am not good enough to do her new combos. That is true. That is, I will. The new rate combos. Yes. She gets all of her air moves. She has like the, the air shrapnel gun, the leap, mm -hmm. and the ground pound thing. And she can go crazy. The, the guys in the lab can do wild stuff. Yeah. Right? So Follow, there's Paul, all right, I'm just, this is, we, this is now real couch, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm into the real couch. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, Paula wanted me to show this off, and I'm like, well, I'm going to screw them up, the combo. So So why not try? I I think you should try. It's not happening. Uh, it's not all happening. right, all right. <laughs> but so that that's kind of Jackie's new stuff. I know I've got a friend that's just like, w w w w come on. She He's going to want to know. He's going to want to know. Gonna that's be in basically the air, it. Non stop going hand. Like, Sonic Fox is going to lose his mind. Mm hmm. But how about a character I, I do know how to play, Kung Lao? Sure. Yes. Why did I just admit any of that? Yes. I don't know. Because it's the real lot, couch, I guess. A lot of truth on this couch today. <laughs> okay. So, Kung Lao gets his great Kung Lao stance, and these moves have drastically changed. They are now significantly faster. Oh, the spirits. Yes. The great Kung Lao. 
And this oh. actually has a brand new crushing blow requirement Ooh, yep. and reaction. Pop up. The requirement is now only the last hit hits. So it right. has to hit from full screen, basically. And generally, I mean, you're using that from full that's screen. Exactly so that's a perfect it. way to and set it up. you can see that it's faster. A uh high. -huh. Yes. Did you just read the screen there? Yeah. <laughs> and then the other thing he gains is the vortex, which he can now amplify, hold it, and send it out. He can hold that? He can hold, hold that. that, yeah. So yes, he got a new crushing little requirement as well as those things are way sped up. And I'm super excited because I always love that move. I'm, oh yeah. I stand for the great Kung Lao. <laughs> Very Like good. great is in his name. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Like Alexander, Kali, <laughs> and Kung Lao. And Kung Lao, there it is. All right, so that that's a uh, most of Kung Lao stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, We're I'm gonna... very very hyped to see how they uh, use that stance mm -hmm. because I think it's naturally very unexplored in the tournament community because it wasn't right. You know, right. Visible. Um, yeah, no, I this is one of my favorite moves that he has too. He's got so much that he can do out of it. So the last one I wanted to show was Aaron Black mm -hmm. because he has some animation changes. Oh. This mm. is one. This is one. Tell that I've, more. I've wanted to see. Uh, so if I ever played Aaron Black, because I'd actually thought about like just playing around with him in casual matches, this would be the kind of one that I'd want to if it existed, and now it does. So the first thing he gets is the Tarkatan Bear Trap. Uh, low key, one of my favorite moves in the game. Yeah, it's <laughs> wild. And then he gains Acid Pour, and now. The regular one is significantly shorter. He does not pour acid on you. And the amplified one is when he pours the acid, then he bops you over the head, which is just rude. So this means you do not have to watch an hour-long uh, animation every time you get hit. Sure, sure. Although that does make it less salty. Yes. Because yeah. I would get super annoyed by that move. And that also changes the crushing blow, because the crushing blow is now for the regular version instead of the amplified. Sure. Cool. Well then. Yeah. Mm. Show the bear trap again. There's a thing you can find on our subreddit uh, of a guy who has all of the, this Aaron Black setup he did with like, before this existed, mm -hmm. like created a version of this. Yeah. And did a setup with traps and acid that's fantastic. So go into our subreddit and look for that because it's, I mean, very going to be similar to what you can do here and it made me laugh. Because <laughs> he awesome. would, he just kept tra trapping the dude. And at one point, the guy didn't know what to do. He put the trap down, and then he did the slide. And the guy fell into the trap and like flipped over into the trap. Oh, and that's died. awesome! It was like swish. It was really cool. Swish. Uh, so those are the ones that we wanted to show. Right. And you can check out the patch notes to find out all the details that you're excited about. No, there are, and those will be, and those will be coming out today. They'll be coming out with the patch whenever that mm -hmm. happens. Follow our social, and we'll talk more about that. Um, but yeah, everybody has some really cool stuff they get to do. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of little tiny frame changes that are gonna make a lot of people happy that we're not gonna get into today because that can get a little, get a little in, into the into the weeds for those who and don't. I, yeah. I can go over other ones briefly if you would like. Please. Um, Cetrion has an ability she got last patch, where she can do a random one of her four buffs. She has the tornado in that. Um, Shao Kahn's is spear based. He's got like all of his spear moves. Cool. Cassie has bullet moves. She has the, the bullet reflect where it's like the green orb. Mm -hmm. And she has the grabbing the drone and flying away with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the shadow kick. Raiden has Joe push and he gets the move where he puts the staff on the ground. And uh, I think the inputs for Joe push change too, right? Yes. And it replaces a different move. So uh, Baraka gets the Baraka barrage <laughs> and the charge. Noob is combo based. He gets a lot of noob fans are going to be happy that he gets the sickle snag and the sickle overhead move. Cool. I think that'll definitely be very exciting for them. Our, um, our boy Kano. This one, I literally today, someone predicted it. It is snake bite and the eye laser. Awesome. And snake bite. I've won them. I mean, you wanted that forever. So I, I mean, I. Tyler started the original petition. Well, I, yeah. I, 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 I had the original snake bite combo. Yeah. Scarlet gets boiling point where she lifts you up and two of her buffs. Um, it's called the Dundee, remember? Yes, the Dundee. Are we still, am I still on that? that yeah, combo? I think so. Yeah, okay, keep going. Um, <laughs> Cabal gets Gas Blast, um, the Combo Starter, and I think the Spin? There's a chance I made that up. But he okay. definitely okay. gets the Anti-Air Grab and... Uh, 
A lot of people would ask about Garrus as well. Garrus gets the rewind time move, mm. and what's the second one? I shouldn't have asked. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff to remember. There's a lot this. of stuff to remember. <laughs> it's probably on one of these pieces of paper. Maybe some. Yeah. Uh, 